Fine engine. Check. Rear thrusters. Check. Picnic basket. Uh, check. Right, let's take them. Hello anyone, well, hello anyone who may be watching now, later, uh, now or later, Helene here, along with... Drakir, the Swedish narrator! <laughs> and welcome back to Let's Dream Dishonored. Uh, actually, I, well, all things I've forgotten, to up, I've forgotten to update the number. Because, yeah, we had to rush a bit again because, yeah, 10 minutes late, still... Just a minor issue, I'll just edit that on Twitch afterwards. And yeah, this little thing, I added it. I bought the DLCs. So yeah, we will be sticking that to the end of this. But for now, yeah, let's just continue on to yep. the, the old Dunwall sewer. But is she eating a rat? No, I'm pretty sure she's <laughs> vomiting something. Let's see. Toil and trouble. You've escaped the flood district, and now you're winding your way back towards the Hound's Pit, uh, Hound Pit's pub. Let's I still misheard you there. What did you hear then? Holy trouble. <laughs> well, Dunwall is in plenty of trouble. Also, yeah. let's see. Uh... Yeah, I, I've decided to change up the lighting a bit. Uh, I have a a dimmer which I can up and down the, the room light over there and I also put in a second light over here for so-called three-point lighting which should make things look better or at the very least put be a bit more uh, well it should it should have uh, everything less just drowned out by too much light at yeah, least um, what the heck has made that entire building lean for one, I think it might have I something knew. to do with all that metal. It's a very yeah, Half-Life 2 feeling. It's... Yeah, though... I feel like it should be happening after only so short amount of months. Uh, in half a year, still a lot can happen. And that sounded like a weeper. Yeah, the... Yeah, it has been riots and such perhaps, but... Uh, maybe I'm underestimating uh, how disastrous riots can be. Yeah, if things really go bad, and I might... Let me in there. If things really go bad, then riots can leave cities burned down. Let's see, throwing hands. Uh, you can throw carry the objects a bit further. Okay, not too useful unless we're throwing stuff to distract, perhaps. Yeah. All right. I just remember there's a London fire where one bakery started to burn, then the rest of the city burned. Yep. And oh, well, the will burn. Yeah. Though not in a more, not in as a little away. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's see, time is that. So for now. Oh, never mind. Not that. That. Just yeah, just stop time, we turn this thing and DTFO. I access the border! No, that bit. Get off! You weren't even standing on anything. Come on. Turn that off. Refill. And just... There we go. Actually... Come on. No, you are... Got... It's open right underneath our own freaking feet. Ugh. It should have just dropped us after opening up that much, but apparently no, and there's a lot of them coming. Oh, and I... Come on, that's enough. Was that the... That was not the sleep dart. No. Fuck off. Uh. 
Okay, fuck it. Luckily for the uh, low chaos ending, we... Uh, well, for it to go up beyond the low chaos ending, we should... We have to kill about 20% of all the NPCs through the... Uh, all the human NPCs through the game. So... Yeah. Uh, These combat NPCs are not mobs. Yeah. Oh, oh, come the fuck on! Like... It's the same one! It really... Sh it should have... Like, there. It should fucking drop him to the ground. Like, here. It... It should be dropping us already right there we go. Yeah, maybe I'm wrong, but... That just came across like the hitboxes of those that thing being way too oversized or something. Or maybe I was yeah. standing in the wrong place. Do they also feel like we may have done that wrong? I I a last swig of whiskey. <laughs> You're the mask guy's been taking down all the lords and ladies. No way through this gate unless you've got the sewer key. Only one place to get that key, and I wouldn't go there. Not for all the gold in Dunwall Tower. Not again. Maybe you could pull it off, though. Something attacked us in the distillery. It used the rats. I know it sounds crazy. And then it run back under the streets. So we come down here to kill it, Slackjaw leading the way. Went bad. I barely crawled out. Don't know what happened to Slackjaw. He had the sewer key, though. Well, that explains where Slackjaw went. It was a fog. And then rats. Rats everywhere. Slackjaw chased him deeper into the sewers. Hmm. It's like there's something supernatural about this plague. Hmm, maybe. Like, 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 think about it. When people turn into weepers, they spit out flies. Yep. And they... They think like they're being... I get quite terrified in the brain. Let's grab those just for having them. And it turns uh, also rat into, well, corona rats. Yeah, it, it's not that the rats are becoming so ravenous, it's more that this specific breed of rats is that ravenous. Oh, well, so when, they are invasive Yep. Oh, bloody hell. And yeah, when you end, when you introduce a uh, stronger species of something, it's likely going to drive out the weaker species. Let's see. I probably should have kept open this earlier to see how close we were to those two, but yeah. Jelly's next task. Jelly, you daft uh, chaffer, there's another one for you. That old witch granny rag, uh, that's a quote. That old witch Granny Rags told me that you'll lose your taste for whiskey in the month of wind, then your eyes will go dim in the month of, and of seeds, and you'll draw your last breath in the month of ice. If you want your share, you know what to do. Okay, that's up. The months are going to be the numbers. So we have wind, seeds, ice. Let's see. Wind is five, two... Five to eight. There we go. And this is strong arms. Choking. Oh, that is useful. <laughs> Let's see, what is the rest of this? The 13 months. Excerpt from a book on the calendar and proper duration of the year. As was laid down long ago, there are 13 months, each 28 days in length. In the last hours of the year, the High Overseer will sound the Vogue Feast. The month of earth, uh, earth, seed, and seeds, nets, rain, winds, darkness, high cold, ice, hearts, harvest, timber, clans, song. Okay. Uh, 13 times 28, that is 260. And then 260 is... 340, uh, 
379 days, I think that should be then. About how many days are our years again? Uh, 365. That's, that's 13. Actually, it's easier to count as 13 times 30, then minus 26. That would be uh, 390, and then would be 3, uh, three 364. Okay, oh wait, that, that wouldn't... Oh. Yeah, 364 days. Yeah, why did I mess up my count then? Wait, are you telling me that they have almost the same amount of days in the years as us? Yeah. Though from the sounds of it, the vote the feast either takes... It either... They have a longer year than us, because I very much doubt that that vote feast would be only a single day. Thirteen times thirty is three hundred and ninety. Minus twenty is three seventy. Minus six three six four. Yeah. Hmm. All right. But when I looked at that and tried to count them, feel like wait, is it this almost the same amount or is it the same amount uh, that we have on the list that was thirty and thirty one? But I got a bit unsure. I'm guessing the. Oh, okay, oh, is that a. That's a rib cage of something. I think. Oh dear. Hmm. Let's see, where the hell are we now? You're even further away from those two. I probably should just keep this thing out as much as possible. I probably should have done that since the start of this stream. Or streaming this game. Yeah. Hmm? Yeah, and I'll be a bit annoyed if he somehow entered the... Granny needs to concentrate. Don't kill me. Granny Rag, stop. Stop what you're doing. can we at least talk about it? My knife's got to be nice and sharp to cut into your skeleton, Slackjaw. Nice and sharp. Well, that's uh, a turn. Can I? Yes, I can. Fuck your whole boss battle, Granny. Look around. Wait, or... This is coming over your girl. It's her. Destroy it with the first. Cameo of her... A, a phylactery or something? Uh, yeah, it's a phylactery. Uh, how do we... A what? Go away. You can't kill me. And I... It can... Uh, it's a it's a soul vessel. It's a leech. Yep. Uh, can we destroy that in here? I do not want to vault over that. Save him. He's not. Shut up, Granny. Okay. Ah, yo, I could have just. Bye bye. Well, that was done <laughs> right and quick. Not so easy to be rid of. Oop. Um. So this has okay, much better. Now Granny is going to kill you just like all the others. Oh, come on. Fire. Too bad for you. Granny doesn't need rest. Now you'll see what 
that I can do. It's too late yeah. for him. And it's too late Shouldn't that for be you? destroying the thing, or do we have to kill her a certain amount of times or something? There she is now. There we go. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I guess you could say that she was basically a lich, it seems. <laughs> what the heck? Yeah. Unlock me. It's a good thing he didn't uh, poison the steel for her then, huh? Wanna know something funny? <laughs> when we were kids, we were all scared of Granny Rags. Thought she was a terrible Wait. witch. Then we grew up and figured she was just a sad old lady. We were right the first time. Now ain't that funny? I owe you. This won't even the score, but it's all I got left. Luck to you, Corvo. Okay. Speaking of, if we had poisoned the still, it would have increased the chaos a lot. Because some of the objectives that you can do, well, they raise or lower the chaos. And apparently helping the survivors from last time would have lowered chaos, though I don't really so see why, because... Yeah, even if they were healthy, they could have been carriers of the plague. They, they could have been, well, not affected themselves. But just because someone isn't showing symptoms doesn't mean that they aren't infected with something. Strange smelling manuscript. Why did you smell the book, Corvo? <laughs> yeah. unless, he, unless he might be so strong that... He notices it right away without need to sniff it. Yeah. Excerpt from an untitled manuscript written in a scrawling hand. Stronger than Scrimshaw, a skull full of guile, a whale ball, bones in a pile, white, scrap, uh, white scraped gleaming, kindle fire and crackle fats, big egg black gobs of spats, fume up, fume up, feathers, mad-eyed bird, fell to grounds, seeds, nettle, needly, Needly needles see stir a bit, huh? Okay. Might be her own notes. And yeah, wait. lich or not, she was still a uh, loopy as can be. Yeah, and he said something that he said that Aura when they were kids, they thought she was a old witch. Yeah. Which, uh, yeah, that shows how old Granny Rags really is, huh? Yeah. And if she is a lich, that means the older she gets there, she may actually turn into a uh, skeleton. A living one. The outsider in the circumscribed voids. Well, let's take that, <laughs> shove that in her pocket, roll it up. Ruin it from ever fitting in a frame ever again. Is yeah, this... don't think he wants his image sh shown around. Excerpt from a report on a, a treasus banned by Rudshore Trade Council. Little is, little is known as uh, of Percotti, credited with this series of pamphlets arguing against the whaling trades. Oh, we've seen this one again already. And speaking of whales, this is the closest we've gotten a look at one. Though it is rather low texture. Ugh. Hmm. This place must have been abandoned even mid, uh, you know, mid process. Hmm. Let's see. Cannot kill the rat plague. Okay, another map. Pendition continent. Okay, that is a lot of. That is a lot bigger than I actually thought. Okay, okay that, that means there's a lot of unknown lands for them at this... Okay, this is fascinating. They're in this early stage of evolution, um, um, technology and all that. But, yeah, look at how much they don't know. 
Yeah, and we've read some books about this place. And basically give a bit of a fallen London vibe of it. Like that yeah. it's weird and mystical and that no two people can really agree on something being something. Hmm. Yeah, dude, it seems to talk about that land as a new continent almost. Or an extremely little known about it. You find your way into such interesting places, Corvo. At the eye of the storm, raging between granny rags in this man who has lived his whole life with a cleaver in one hand and a bottle in the other, crawling out of those flooded ruins winding your way back to the pub where you last saw emily where is she now how does it feel now knowing your allies betrayed you strange how there's always a little more innocence left to lose and dowd the man who killed the empress you had him in the palm of your hand and you let him walk away you Fascinate me. And the outsider is rather fascinating themselves as well. And also the outsider and all of your other uh, ally, or basically every other character, most probably, they have uh, different ways of reacting to you, depending on the chaos level. Of course, to get high chaos, you need to go on an absolute murder spree. So, uh, yeah, of course, people are going to act differently based on that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. And now we're back here. Okay, full of polygon around. Now let's uh, let's get out of this. <laughs> out of this. Instead of accidentally jumping right back in, and. Oh, hell. Someone's gone. And he didn't look to be in a good position, so... Rats? If it, if it was the rats, then that'd still be bones. So... Hmm. Yeah, the worst thing then is not knowing what actually happened then, huh? Alligators? I find that doubtful, man. Hello. Oh, hello. Okay, I did not expect those two here. What are you even... These things are certainly a pest. Shut up and give me your pearls. <laughs> okay, that could be a variant on the, me the uh, shut up and give me your money meme. You just robbed clams. <laughs> oh, please. No, no, no. Wait. I thought I saw... Oh, no. It... I thought it was no Piero, way. but no. That was just survivors. And... Oh, crap. Uh, yeah, you see how much is still left, even after the fucking rats are done. Ooh. Been... Okay, I, yeah, I thought it was Callista and Piero standing here, but no. Yeah, I thought so too. I thought I heard more rats and... Uh, try, maybe try not running into me, lady. Please, I can't, yeah. I'm being a bit trigger-happy. I just remember, I was to say something earlier before the boss fight, and I completely forgot to watch. Please. What the hell was I talking about then? Uh, no clue here. <laughs> Maybe yeah, you'll we'll remember it. Yeah, hopefully. For, I guess we were very distracted. Oh, right, now remember. I, as I was to say, I would be really annoyed if those... if it Just because you killed some weepers and they go into medium uh, uh, chaos. 
Uh, I, I looked up on the wiki, and according to that, which might not be 100% accurate, ne you'd need to kill at least 20% of all the human NPCs. Uh, and for high chaos, you'd need to kill over 50%. Yeah, I, and when I think about the missions, I don't think we even close them. Most missions were either zero kills or one kill. Yeah. And Dogs and such don't count. Were... Yeah. The one kill or two were accidental. Like landing on a person. <laughs> yeah. I, I think we accidentally do, did that twice. Yeah. It has like a tone and goes for accidental. Freaking hackfish. So, the way, I think you did kill most in the first act when you try to escape the tower. Yeah. So, uh, I guess we'll soon see. I really hope we're not. The, I really want to see the good ending. If I'm pretty sure we are heading forward towards that. Because, yeah, we'd need to go on an absolute murder spree to even get into uh, medium chaos at this point. Yep. Work on your upper body strength, Corvo. Blame Corvo, eh? Let's see. There's some bolts. What are these doing here? I am not touching that. I'm not touching, I'm not desperate enough to eat a rotten pear. And it seems we've completely bypassed the bone charm. Search yourself. I will have it done. <laughs> Let's see what uh, we can get from this heart to heart. Uh, a good thing that says eating a rat as long as it's not a, well, sewer rat. Yeah. Albinos, you encounter, encounter white, rat, white rats uh, slightly more often. Okay. What? Not really sure what that would add or subtract. They left in great haste, scattering like insects, eager to bore into the nests you made for them. The moon banged her head in the confusion. They dragged her crying into the waiting world. She called your name. You are like the rivermen. They spread their nets wide and they blow up all manner of things. The sweet, the deadly, poisonous, all together in one cash. Hmm. Well, can't uh, argue against that comparison. Their usefulness is spent. They long for news of your death. Calista tried to protect her. But they pulled the child from her arms. Oh, the curses she spat at them. The abbey is dark, its doors are locked, and no more the great sermons. The overseers have taken to the streets. I should have been using this thing a lot more. They left in great haste. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that sounds really sl weird. I slowed down. <laughs> Uh, okay, so now we're technically the end of the mission then. Let's see. Yeah, still, still low chaos. Low, but still... Two civilians killed and six... Oh, eight in total killed. Okay, yeah. Yep. Bad time. Let's yeah. The... Smart move would be been to... Reload the point where you had problem with the damn hole, but now we were just way too far in to do that. Yeah, and I did say that we weren't going to do much uh, saves coming. Yeah, no, th that one would probably would be a fair saves coming due to the game. It was the game being weird, and not Let's you see. being dumb, just the game being weird. Okay. The loyalists. You return to the hounds. Pin I keep calling it the hounds. The 
the Hound Pits uh, pub to pick up the trail on your old allies and find out where they have taken Emily. Wait, did they lock you in here? Please, no. Oh, it's you, Corvo. Thank the stars. We all thought you'd been killed, except for Samuel. He seemed sure you'd survived. I saw him on the river shortly before the killing began. He was smart enough not to come ashore, but I'll bet he's still out there. Looking for you is my guess. At first, Pendleton said it was time for our bonus. Havelock stood behind them, and at the signal, he shot them each in the back of the head. Just like the target drills he used to. Lydia barely had time to scream. I would be dead too. Except Wallace told me I wouldn't be getting anything. Pendleton kept apologizing, saying that no one could ever know about the things they'd done. Martin was drinking and seemed sad. The Admiral was about to shoot Callista. Then he mumbled something about owing her uncle, Captain Kurnow, a debt. They said it was time for Sokolov and went off to his cage. I don't know what happened after that. Motherfuckers. Emily yeah. was there when the killing started. Poor child. I hope she hit her eyes. Nope. The Admiral said that Martin was right. I guess they talked about it. And they started to worry they'd get executed for all that they'd done, going after the Lord Regent and his allies. I suppose it's why they've poisoned you too. I thought Lydia would squeal on me at the end. She just told Havelock to screw himself and died. Lydia is the only one who ever showed me any kindness. Yeah, they're going to pay. I don't think the Admiral actually knew I existed. I can hide here for as long as it takes. Seems that no one is safe when a man is that close to a prize like the throne. Yeah, be on top of that, they locked up whoever remained in here, it seems. Oh, oh well, no. Great party tonight. I was only a kid at the last coronation. If we even make it to tonight. Will you look at this mess? Relax. One of the officers said he was dead. Poison thrown in the river. If you ask me, he's long gone. Threw the mask in the river, left town. That's what a rational person would do. Not this guy. You have to understand the criminal mind. I hear they had to hide the Caldwin girl from him the whole time they were working with him. I heard they locked him in a cage and only let him out at night. The criminal mind, huh? So what's he doing now? Waiting. He's probably watching us right now. With that crazy mask on. Creeping closer and closer, ever closer, until... Cut it out. What's so impressive about Corvo, anyway? Who's he got up against? A couple of high overseers and a couple of noblemen? You could never stand up to men with our training. Well, now I do hope he shows up. I want to see you run crying to the cover of the tall boys out back. Like you were the other night. What was I supposed to do? Stand there and get hit by rocks? They were just kids. They were a gang. I hope Lord Regent Havelock sends the tall boys in to level the place. It's gonna be a new era. Having a ten-year-old on the throne isn't gonna cure the plague. High Overseer Martin says it will. He says we were cursed when the Empress died by Corvo's black magic. And the rats are never gonna leave until we had a real called one back. He says the outsider follows Corvo around. There's some curse on this city, that's for sure. I'm still trying to forget working in the flooded district. Don't remind me. Before we go, I'm gonna stash a few bottles of wine from the cellar. Take them out of here with us. Just make sure Corvo's not hiding down there first. Maybe you're right about that guy. Those were chatty. Okay, so I was wrong. I This was the backup uh, safe house that the uh, yeah, she said she said she was set up here. Yep, uh, those bloody idiots. But here's the thing: we 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 played the Lord Regent's uh, personal logs into the entire city. They would be fine. I, think. Yeah, I need to get rid of the rats, and that's the only. 
curse in here. Yeah, there is the only rat. But yeah, I feel like the Admiral and Pentleton are idiots. They could just help Corvo anyway, as far as I know. But no, no, no they, had... they were planning on taking over anyways. Like, we, we read, well, we heard one of... Oh. We heard one of uh, Avlock's audio recordings. And hello there in the chat, Rom. Sup, I heard oh. Kirkwall is nice this time of year. <laughs> if, if by nice you mean an absolute pisshole. Hello, Rom! Uh, yeah, to, oh, why is he hanging around here? To catch up a bit, uh, yeah, we've been stabbed in the back. And now we're just, we're back here to look for trails to follow. This jackass needs to run off. Yeah, you can obviously see where we'd have to shoot them to kill get rid of them. Okay. Nope. Huh? Ridiculous. Stupid rats. That also works. And that, okay, that strong arms thing really speeds it up. Like, I was expecting, like, a 20% faster, but no, it like instant almost. It's a good thing that we did go back for that one. Dear gods. And be right back. I'm just going to grab a sandwich. Okay. And yes, it's still late this time due to... Well, we must have been serious to extend it longer than usual, which meant I ate some food later than usual. Uh, so I'll be right back. I, met, no. I worked on the lighting a bit, yeah, it's wrong. Uh, do, does this look better or worse with the light up or down like this? Oh, hello, I missed you. Our medicine will try to penetrate the workshop. Those are tight. I think Piero Joplin's inside. Crackpot. How did they miss us? There is evidence that Anton Sokolov was held here against his will for some time. We can't determine what happened to him. I'll bet my commission he's in that building with Piero Joplin. If so, arrest him. But I don't want him harmed until I get to the Servants were all executed shortly before we arrived. Looks like a naval cutlass and a small bore pistol. Now, turn this building inside out. And it goes without saying, this area is sealed. Still walkers at all points. And stay vigilant. And yeah, they needed Corvo to act as their hitman for deniability purposes. Yep. And yeah. Of course, these things are here. Let's see, any... Okay, there's one new rune up there. Not sure if... Oh, hello. At last. Time to leave this hovel for some place befitting my station. Now, all the good families of the Empire will look up to Pendleton. Wallace, before your meeting with Havelock downstairs, I want you to haul this to the boat for me. I'll be recording the most important chapters in the next few days. <laughs> uh, you can join the voice here yeah, if you want. Let's see, where does this lead? Uh, yeah. yeah. Welcome back. Thank you. I managed to sneak my way in. Well, my, more zip my way in. Oh, good. Good thing that it didn't go up there. I would have popped out right in front of that motherfucker. <sighs> but yeah, uh, Piero and Sokolov are still around. And they're holed up in Piero's workshop. So 
from the sound of it, like the moment they started shooting, uh, he put the he put the, the padlock on. Let's see. This is a dead end, or is it? Yes, it is. Uh, we're on the uh, the we're on the stream Discord, which I might as well tell anyone who might be watching this eventually. Let's see how it tells. Well, I. I've set up a, a Discord for streaming, where I'll be uh, yeah, announcing when streams will be starting, as well as keeping a list of uh, yeah everything that has been streamed and uh, a list. Uh, come on, Corvo! A list of the games that may eventually be uh, same serve uh, same place, Rom. The one, the one that is only you. Me and Drakia are on it at the moment. Uh, stream. Actually, do you have access to that? Give me a second. Uh, da -da -da -da. This should be visible to everyone. Let's see. Edit. Permissions. Oh, uh, oh, I forgot to add you in here with this. So I'll just add you in as well. Okay. There we go. It should be visible now. There we go. Damn! Okay. And turning my neck that much hurts. <laughs> Hello, Ron! Hello. What's up? I'm here. Everyone? Rom? Son of a... Okay, sorry. I have a... TV 11 on the background... Video on the background. Anyways, um... Yeah, it was weird because... I can join you, but... We're up... Because... It, yeah, I have no fucking clue anymore. Anyways, how are you guys doing tonight? Oh, we're doing well, I'd say. Wonderful, I say. On my end. Yeah. Also, by the way, they can see you. Yeah, one of them got a glimpse. I'm trying to sneak around towards the tower and then the workshop. And yeah, they, so... they're quite thick with this. What are you gonna do? Stab them? No, I know from a memory something that'll uh, help a lot with this. Yeah, no, I mean Pietro and like Sokolov. I mean like the other assholes. Yeah, here's the thing. We want to do as little killing as possible. The last mission, well, it was a bit of a disaster. How badly did you fuck up? Well, uh, this we have to in kill a bunch of uh, weepers. <laughs> Yeah. So, they probably did all fine, but we're literally in case of... Let's be extra careful, just in case. Yeah. Behind you is a rune. Yeah, and... About the elixir, yes. And I need to discuss your tonic. Why have you not tried the homeopathic solution? And where am I to find the subjects? I can't recruit from prisons as you do. But it's forced me to work with another agent derived from... Yeah, for people who acted like they absolutely hated each other, they're suddenly very buddy-buddy when they're hitting on other freaking tables. I guess if they're gonna die, they might as well not hate each other. Corvo, up? good to see that you still breathe. The city would not be the same if you were not with us. I've completed Piero's work on an arc pylon, but only just. With this device, we can send a powerful electrical signal through the nervous system, merely rendering our enemies unconscious, or they can be reduced to ashes. I've attuned Ooh, it so that turned up we ashes. will be safe from the functions <laughs> of the device. It will only trigger in the presence of our enemies. This arc pylon is more powerful. It has the option of either knock out everyone or turn them into ashes. Striking down our foes while ignoring us. I need my final sequence, which is recorded in the blueprint for this device. Havelock was inspecting it before the killing started. Return the blueprint to me. It was in his bedroom before he left. Hopefully, it's still there. If it's you not your fault, just letting you know that. Sokolov and I are not as gifted in the same way. Without the Ark Pylon, it is only a matter of time before they put an end to us. We can get this device working, 
Or you can go out and remove our enemies one by one, whichever you think is best. And yeah, you can kill these two, I pretty I'm pretty sure, but that that of course raises the chaos immensely. Oh, yeah. oh they're, they're, they're like starting the to knock on the door. Only, so they're like the only two people that know how to, you know, nope. cure the plague that would off, really yeah. fuck things up. It's, is anyone in there? There is. And also the only people working on trying to figure out oh, that you are for the rat plane. Yeah. Well, they're not the only ones, but they are the smartest ones to do so. And uh, excuse me while I take your colleague. Just uh, away. Yeah. I think I thought oh, I see come a on, you motherfucker. He's on the left. You sure you want to carry him? Yeah, yeah, throw him away. And make sure it will not let you know. Yeah, but first let's get that blueprint because I'm pretty sure one of the old boys were shooting at the freaking door there. It's. What the heck? So, yeah, how badly did you fuck up that your sword is now partially covered in blood? Yeah, we have to kill like half a, do a dozen civilians. Or, well, weepers, who are but civilians. Two civilians and eight hostiles. Should we gather for whiskey and cigars? What? Wait, what? No, I think one of them said, should we gather for whiskey and cigars? Oh, yeah. There... Okay, now I get it, now I get it. Ah, there it is. But I believe someone is coming in. So, when Hagen left, did he just, like, take all his crap with him? Yeah. Especially his medals. Because, like, yeah, the jet guy's apparently a fucking jackass. Let's see. Now we need to get back to, uh, yeah, Hans. All right, the note Emily left you. Don't worry about that. Yeah, we can deal with that once uh, all of these <laughs> guards have been dealt with. And ironically Quick. as well, something from uh, the, the wiki, is that apparently the, the higher chaos it is, the more guards there actually will be in every level. Which is a bit counter well, I mean, to what I thought earlier. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, once you have one killing spree, they kind of have to up the ante. Yeah. That makes me. That makes it hard for me to play because I attempt low chaos, and then one fuck up is just. Wait. Oh. You just killed him. You just fucking killed him. <laughs> oh, I, from how, <laughs> from how that looks like this is look like I shoved them, but okay. You don't shove hurt. people with a sword in their throat. <laughs> uh, yeah. Once again, me messing up the freaking buttons. Okay, let's try and keep the killing to a minimum, minimum, at least single digits from now on. Present yourself. Don't make. Is this presented enough? I mean, he did show where he was. Ooh, repair kits. Not uh, entirely sure how you get a repair kit from a revolt from a fucking flintlock, but I'm not the designer. May as well get grab this. A letter from Emily mm. Corvo. Remember before when I mentioned a special drawing I was working on for you? This is it. So I don't know where you went, but I hope when you get back you see this and like it. I'd like to take uh, it to Dunwall Tower with us. Everyone's acting strange tonight. Samuel is whispering to Castilla about a flare launcher that she was supposed to use to call him. Uh, he told her to lock the door to my old tower. I heard the animal tell the others we are leaving tonight for a place called the Lighthouse on Kingsparrow Island. I hope you get back before then. Emily. Ah. And now we know where they are. Where they are. And we'd, we'd read of that place earlier as well. Yeah. Well, I need to find a signal flare, but first let's try and save these guys. Yeah. 
So what do we say? Turn them patches? Yarrow, get this thing. Yarrow, the blueprints. Astonishing. They really are just trying to knock the fucking door down. The Ark Pylon is complete. Now to activate it. With this device, we can send a powerful electrical signal through the nervous system, merely rendering our enemies unconscious. Or they can be reduced to ashes. What is your opinion, Corvo? I'm bloodthirsty enough for option two, but knock them out is your choice. As you wish, Corvo, we will be far away before any of them regain their senses. I sir, I've seen some of these animations in Half-Life 2. All is ready, Corvo. All that remains is plugging in a whale oil tank to power it. Will you do the honors? When this arc pylon yeah. is charged, no one will dare come near us. How does Corbo eat out of the can? He doesn't have a can opener. He eats the well, can hole. Yeah. <laughs> Give me that. Okay, now where is the... Where does this need to be plugged in? Down here? Uh, so why the hell did it sound like he was typing at a keyboard when he opened this up? <laughs> Pretty sure the only technology they have at the moment works with buttons, you know, on the dock with valves and... Uh, you know, with valves and switches. Can I even? No, I cannot. Uh, oops. Uh, what did you do? I fell off. Hey, let's get my balance on. Yes, you I can. You broke reality. Just tried to get a whale oil. <laughs> How? Oh no! Thank you for that. Now I got a song stuck in my head. Oop. That was a bit loud. It was an explosive. What do you expect? Part to be quiet. I expected it to not blow up while falling in the water. But apparently, Whaler doesn't mix with water. Makes you wonder if that means whales are IEDs underwater. Oh, hello. Callist. That's gonna end the level! killed everyone to cover it all up. Then they took Emily with them and they left. I couldn't do anything to protect her. Please find her. Make her safe. It's not the end just yet. All this talk of being an honorable military man, but Havelock will use Emily like a puppet to his own advantage. The fuck? Something changed in the Admiral as soon as the Lord Regent died. It had been building up. Martin was acting strange, going quiet if any of us were near, whispering late into the night with Havelock and Pendleton while you were out doing the real work. I think they realized they were one step away from holding the same position the Lord Regent had, and worried they'd be held accountable for what they did here, as the Loyalists. They would have killed me yeah, too, not very loyal. but Havelock spared me. Out of respect for my uncle, I believe. Please, talk to Samuel and the others. Someone must know where they're going. Find Emily. She's suffered through so much, and she's got no one else on her side except you. Samuel set this here in case you returned. You can use it to call him. He said he'd come quickly. Hopefully there's a place he can dock where the watch won't see him. Uh, yeah, that, was, take... that didn't end things yet. Uh, First, let's take care of the watch, then call in the backup. Yeah. And we'll need to get a new, a new can. Because... Yeah, it is here. But do we need to stick three of them? No, there's one in there. There's one in there already. And... Okay, so it just needs one extra. Let's hope that this boy doesn't blow up the more tanks that are in there already. Yeah. I do want to okay, see one I... of them blow up at least. The, the tall boys, that is. Um, it's upstairs. Hey, yeah. Carl! Where's the bail oil? You should have it done already. 
How many that's, spare cans does this guy have? Let's find out. You know what? I was being sarcastic. Let's not break the game. <laughs> yeah, I think it will just spawn an infinite amount. Okay, this time with less fail. Or only a moderate on the fail at best. Does not get shot at while carrying as an explosive? Uh, an explosive. Uh -oh. By the way, does this affect everyone in the vicinity? Amazing. Simply amazing. It functioned How did it not affect Corbo, these two assholes, or Callista? Defies description. A device Outside like of magic. this will ensure Dunwall's security for a century. Yeah, they said they were able to do it to not affect us, but only them somehow. Well, Corvo, I hope we can be considered colleagues again. You were condemned. I, I gotta clean a thing. Be right back. Like us rise above such. All things. right. As to the good admiral, I believe men such as Havelock start with high-minded intentions. Same with Martin, and maybe even Pendleton, though I suspect he was just lazy. But no one is prepared for the sheer seductive influence of being so close to real power. Yeah. Once you start ordering people killed to get your way, everything else is mere detail. I return to my work now, and you to yours. Killing people, I mean. I sincerely hope it goes well. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Rasputin. We once discussed a system of signals to be used in Emily's tower for communication across the river. I wonder if he remembers that. Uh. <laughs> I'll make what you need as long as I have the necessary materials. Let's see. Pistols, explosive shot, and improved armor. Okay, so that's what that was. Okay, let's get those upgrades. Improved uh, armor. That'll keep us alive a bit longer. And uh, might as well. There we go. Accuracy, yes. Explosives, actually. Explosive bullet usage, okay. So it doesn't automatically turn everything into a, an explosive. Can be useful against the beasts? Like. Mm -hmm. I seriously have struggled to imagine we actually have a problem with clams. <laughs> yeah. And might as well upgrade everything that we can anyways now. Well, what else we'll be using this coin for now? Rent? Let's see. Let's get a few explosive bullets at the least. I very much doubt that we'll be finding many of those, and I I almost thought I accidentally hit the macro key to start the stream. And no, I, I, I did hit the macro key to start the stream. And for a moment, I feared that I would have ended the stream, but no. And yes, I finally got those freaking macro keys to work. Apparently, for some reason, OBS doesn't respond to key presses unless there is a quote unquote natural delay in between. So like 20 milliseconds. Emily banged her head in the confusion. They dragged her crying into the waiting boat. She called your name. What is this here about Havelock? Orders to the guards. Captain Manning, we've tracked the conspiracy to the Hound and Pitts pub, search the premises for the natural philosophers Piero Joplin and Anton Sokolov. Do what you must to secure all materials related to the enhanced arc pylon they have been constructing. Question them thoroughly, and once you are certain you have everything they know of the pylon, execute them both. Bring the pylon to me along with his papers and recordings. They may be two of the greatest they may be two of the greatest minds of our age, but they are also traitors who conspired with Corvo to bring down this empire. I'm keeping Empress Emily Caldwell in and with me at the lighthouse on King Sparrow Island until we're certain that Corvo and his fellow conspirators have been properly dealt with. Lord Reason Halflock. Of course, oh, trying to play the hero and shoving everything he has done 
into our boots. I think we have plenty to shove up his ass when we find him. And I'm a bit surprised that he survived the freaking fall. Okay. I just been lucky. And yeah, there should be one more mission left after this. Which will be, well, the lighthouse. And if there are tall boys there, then I am going to shoot one in the back just to see how they blow up. Because I'm pretty sure I haven't done that in any playthrough with this game. Now that you've eliminated the City Watch, I can find my way out of here. But there's no way I can help Emily the way you can. I saw Samuel on the river earlier. I'm sure he'll take you where you need to go. One last trip, I expect. Yeah. Letter to Castilla. Castilla, fret not. I believe there is still hope for Emily and Dunwell. I don't believe Corver is gone. I'll be searching the river for him, but if you catch wind of him, shoot up a flare using the launcher I placed in Emily's tower. And I'll make my way back as quickly as I can. Keep this tower locked and take care of yourself. Lani is going to need you when this is over. Samuel. Speaking of her, I'm pretty sure if we hadn't saved her I uncle earlier... I tried as uh, best I could. In the first mission when we took out the High Overseer, I, if we hadn't saved him, I'm, I think him. she would have died. I'll be fine. Oh. I really can't believe they did this. But if they were willing to kill to get what they wanted... I guess they'd be willing to do anything. Bloody heck. I'll be okay here. Just go. Let's see. Where are you, Sammy? Oh, he's over there. Uh, we... It is smart of him not to approach the place where all the freaking guards were. Yeah, there he is. You break legs. Thought I'd find you here. It never pays to bet against you, does it? I saw the signal. I knew you'd be back, Corvo. I knew it. We'll need to get out of here soon. The Admiral controls the military now, Martin's high overseer, and Pendleton's in favor with the aristocracy and Parliament. They need Emily, of course. But if Havelock senses that it's all about to fall down around him, who knows what he's liable to do? Yeah, and now, basically, we're back at zero, aren't we? We have a corrupt leader, we have a corrupt overseer, we have corrupt, uh, yeah, politicians, and, well, Emily is in captivity again. Yeah, so, uh, just because they got corrupt by the, the allure of power. Yeah, power corrupts, and absolute power corrupts absolutely. Yeah, and... There's one like, more trip across the river to where it meets the sea. That's time. where the Lord Regent was building his new lighthouse. Ought to be something to see. Only one kill. Um... Oh, yeah. <laughs> the guy I stabbed in the freaking throat. <laughs> uh, yeah. Basically, this could be been like a zero kill if you hadn't done that. <laughs> yeah. I was a bit surprised that and I didn't forgot to mention in the last. Why did Sokolov make a painting of the outsider? Because I'm pretty sure that counted as one of his paintings. Because well, the only paintings we've been able to collect are well Sokolov paintings. Yeah, he has been trying to do that. Uh, he's been trying to get his attention, so... I'm, I'm pretty sure if uh, it was public that he made a painting of the Outsider, he would have been lynched. Yeah. Uh, but for now, on to the final level. Kingsborough Isle. The light at the end. The leaders of the Loyalist Conspiracy have moved to a monument, uh, monumental lighthouse, the final military project devised by the Lord Regent. They are holding Emily as they struggle to tighten their hold over the city. It's time to confront them, decide their fates, and determine the future of Dunwall. Oh, wait. Okay, oh, sorry, I forgot to unmute myself. I suspect Havelock Martin and Lord Pendleton. What the hell? Where did Rome go? Then he was on his speak. No, 
following them. Yeah. They're not giving up without a fight. No, my dog decided to piss on the. I remember hearing the. On the dining room. Talking about this place oh. is where they'd hold up if they had to. Anybody going in has to breach the fort, the gatehouse, and there's only one way to the top. If we've done a mostly low kickoff playthrough and go high chaos for the last level, does that still count as a low chaos playthrough? Good luck, Corvo. If anyone deserves it, you do. Give my best to Emily. Yeah, at best, I think it probably put us only in medium chaos. All right. Sure, yeah. Corvo. But somehow you managed to get through all this mess without losing sight of what really matters. For that, if I remember correctly, if you enter this area at high chaos, too many Samuel like here, fucks off, pulls out a flare gun, fires it, and lets everybody know you're here. No place for yeah. Sailor like me. <laughs> that time is long past. Good luck, my friend. Okay. Yeah, and this is not a good spot to start in, really. Or, well, it's a, fortif it's a fortified lighthouse in the middle of the freaking day. Of course, it's not going to be good for us. Hmm. But yeah, de depending on how high chaos everything is, Samuel, well, would have responded differently, and it, at high chaos, like he said, he would have alerted the guards to her presence. Now, let's see. Uh, okay, that thing isn't turning our way. That one is well placed. Because we can't get to it, I think. Hmm. Hey, look, the bunker. Hey, what? The bunker behind you. Oh, yeah. bunker! Well, for a moment I thought, did they really put in a, a tunnel system here? But no. No, that would have been too easy. Let's see. This place well, looks like the best choice. I think I see a way to get in. Yeah, there's two. There's the harbor and the beach side. Yeah, I was to just to turn one of the cranes into a trebuchet and swing yourself over. <laughs> okay, I don't think using the superior siege weapon would have helped much here. <laughs> if we're aiming for low chaos, we're probably <laughs> not going to try to blow up the world. Indeed, I believe so. Wait, blow up the what? How do you blow up the world with a trebuchet? Depends on what you stick in it to throw. I mean, if you jam a nuke made of, if you have a bomb with enough uh, whale oil on it, you can probably blow up a good chunk of the continent. Point taken, and that makes me realize they should introduce trebuchets and catapults to solve the genre. It kind of makes sense. Just load a, ca a catapult with bombs and just throw it at zombies. Uh. The biggest problem is depending on whether or not they follow noise. True. It's closed. True. Do it would be a good way to. Do you have the possession ability? Nice. Yeah. Ooh. Possess one of the rats and go through the. Possess one. Oh, yeah, here. Okay, I yeah. overlooked that. This playthrough is actually the first time that I've ever used this. <laughs> You're kidding, this is the first time we've actually ever used Possession? Uh, not... this will technically be the third time. Because I have used it other times in this playthrough, just never else... Uh, or in other playthroughs I have not used it. And, oh, it's locked. Could this city get any worse? Oh, well, or we can just lock on over this. Or you can just, you know, blink. Okay. And turn away, soldier. Let me know if you want to take my patrol. Please, not now. Yeah, it's nice. 
What the hell does he whisper whenever you turn on dark vision? She came in a few days ago, but she keeps to herself. Must be a shock. I wonder what she's like. Just a kid, I guess. Imagine being a kid. And suddenly, they tell you in a few years, they'll rule the Empire. What do you do? Me? Settle a few scores, I guess. Then order some pastries from that shop on Clavering. Lots of them. I mean... To be fair, the guy's not wrong. I'd probably do the same thing. I think just settle some things and I'm thinking you know, was to, uh, I think he meant some other sort of debts <laughs> debts. I know, I know, I would probably do the same. I'm not sure what I would do. Since Sure, can I have that be an emperor in a game? Uh, you just got shot. You just got. Okay, just. No. Um. Uh. Corbotano, the assassin! <laughs> and all of these idiots are stuck on the other sides. I don't think I'm stuck on the wrong the door side. Can't be oh, open. That's okay. because the door can't be open. And they piss off. Well, fuck. He's gone. Okay, fellas, back to patrol. Right, as much as to say, I don't think I would make a good emperor. I probably would ask someone else to do it. But I think I would have a panic attack. I wouldn't want the power to become an emperor. Also, you're getting shot at again. Yeah, yeah shot at, just, not shot. <laughs> just too much power for me. Just too much power. Yeah. Oh, hello, boys. Goodbye, boys. And there's no entrance up here. But there is a, a hiding space that those idiots can't reach. Unless they know how to climb. Yeah, and they haven't cleaned up the uh, shit from the previous idiots. I mean, he only just recently had shit okay. happen to him. Yeah, they're probably be unable to get new flag, uh, new flags and such. Risk of falling. I wonder why. What? <laughs> How does this railing even work? Oh, you just need ah, to there was yourself. A wall of there was a wall of light there. <laughs> you you okay, didn't expect. Now? You didn't expect them to put up a fucking wall of light in the damn gatehouse entrance. <laughs> I should have, but yeah, you'd think with all this already, they wouldn't need to put one there. But, it's a uh, fort. You need to be able to protect it even from the inside. Yeah. <laughs> well, lesson learned. <laughs> You're gonna pull this shit at least. I don't know. Try doing it from a higher angle so you can just blink over it. <laughs> Okay, so we yeah, can get a bit spawned. Oh, okay, nope. That guy would spawn it. I'm not on the floor, this Amelia. I'm not on the floor. Yet. Oh, don't tempt me. <laughs> you know what I mean. Yeah, recently I got him laughing so loud he was on the floor again. No, no, no. You got me punching my own leg. Just do not end up on the floor. Yeah, let's see. Why do I drop your sorry ass? Throw him into the wall of light. He'll pass through it. Actually, I think you're right with that. He just saw you. Um, shut up. Oop. Ed. Someone... Uh, don't mind me, boys. Huh? What, the? what do you drop? The guard. The, the, ga the guard. Oh. Yeah. Uh, that was not what I me. wanted. Well, you're lucky your knees seem to be made... Your femurs and knees seem to be made, made out of titanium. Because that should have broken your legs. <laughs> yeah, I, I, it would have if I hadn't blinked down. 
But yeah, I was thinking about using a body of theirs to get through the wall of light, since it should have a sort of friend or foe sis identification oh, system. Yes. Similar to uh, the pylon that the, the Marx Brothers they used earlier. What? <laughs> yeah. I know you're here. So I want to say it again, Corvo Corvotano, Master Assassin. <laughs> well, technically he isn't a master assassin, just a, a bodyguard turned assassin. I mean, on the one hand, true, but on the other hand, you're kind of... He just saw you choking that guy. Did I just... Oh, 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 oh. Hello. Goodbye. Both of you jackasses were working the wrong way. You're being shot at. What the? What, 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 what was that? Fuck it. Uh, okay, now the world is. You just killed him. Nice. You're getting nice shot at him. again. Oh, is this a sneaky way in? Uh, I'm pretty sure this is the sneaky way. <laughs> <laughs> oh look, the one rude in this whole fucking island. Just uh, ignore all the gunshots. And look, someone who finally uh, listens to the mask mandate. Ah, uh, it took them too long. Ah, uh, it took them too long. Uh, right. Is there anything I can fuck with around here? Or is this past the uh, ball of lights? I think it's past. Yeah. I don't know, you're okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just, you know, don't try to, like, I don't know, walk into the fucking light again. Oh, come on. Why are you, you rough? Yeah, hello. Ow. Hey, you want to know a fun fact? Hmm? You got dishonored. That is. Uh... Okay, so apparently at some point in development, Corvo would have would have lost his left hand. Right, I fell off the wrong side. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, at some point in development, uh, an idea came where during a fight, Corvo would lose his left hand, and. He had the option of either retrieving it so you could get it reattached or just going through the game without the left hand and instead having to get replaced by a mechanical duplicate. Okay, so you could have gotten it. You could have done a Luke Skywalker. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, with everyone wasting their time at the gatehouse, we can look around a bit. And if this walkway access. Didn't it say you know, there's controls in here somewhere? I don't think the controls are there as much as they are on the top. Of... Oh, it... now all the aids are coming up here. Okay, try running up this. No, wait, there's no up. You're already at up. Now we're back here. Oh, that'll help. Yes, turn off the fucking... Yes, turn off the, the wall of light, because that's currently blocking you. And where is Darius? Okay, I hear rats. Where are rats? He is dark vision. Oh, yes. Fuck it. Just walk and through. And out of here. Where is this? Oh, this would have led us to, out to, on the other side as well. Uh, well, since we're Did here, run. yeah, run, run as fast as we can. We take there. Are unlucky because they caught us, anyways. I think you killed him. I just took a swing at him. Yeah, and it sounded like he dropped his sword. Wall of light. Yeah, no, it's Thailand. Never mind. I think someone shot me after that. 
<laughs> That's not even shocking anymore. Damn it! <laughs> I hate it when I make puns. I don't want to make puns. Oh, I'm fine. Don't worry, Rob. Helion loves them. And he loves to torment me with them as well. Yeah. Okay, whatever. Just try and skip the pylon. Yeah. Otherwise, you're gonna <laughs> die. Yeah, let's pull an Obi Wan. I have the high ground! <laughs> Bitch! Yeah, what? Corvo, you're getting stuck on rings you can step over. I think he's getting yeah. stuck on- I think it's at the rings huh? he's, get, he's getting stuck on. Oh. Uh, you need the lighthouse elevator key! He, pr he probably yeah. has the key. Cool. Get in. Adios, dipshits! <laughs> you will always remember this as the day you almost caught Quoho Atano. I was the dude I took earlier! <sighs> yes, okay, it seems there have been a, net a bit of a network pro problem, but it's just dropping a bunch of frames it's, or something. Oh. I'm not even sure what's happening. I was in a delay, and then the tra and then the whole thing stopped. I'm currently on. I'm currently just watching you on Discord. Yeah, oop. I believe there. This is something that has been memed a bit. Throw him! Throw him! Throw him! He literally scared himself to death. That was a suicide. <laughs> Wait, but that time you killed him? Uh, not sure, but we'll find out afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> right, whatever, let's deal with the assholes first. <laughs> what the fuck? Burrow's lighthouse. Yeah. All right, I forgot Pendleton. There's Havelock, there's another guy, I think. Yep, there's Pendleton. Corvo hadn't been so damn good at his job. We hadn't gotten greedy. Has he killed this others already? Yep. Paul was too sure that was my problem. Never hesitated. Too sure of what I wanted. Too you could sure just snipe him from here and get it over with. I know Corvo's coming for me just like he came for the others. Crossing the island below like he was nothing. It's like it's nothing, out. proceeds to kill himself twice with a fucking me. wall of light and a pylon. It's all falling apart. <laughs> all the steps that led us here made sense. When I was young, I went to sea, took command of a ship, and made aimless men into sailors. Made a collection of boats into a navy. Then founded a conspiracy and almost led an empire. No compromise. Never showed mercy. Never showed weakness. I showed the world that mattered. Will with vision. And not being afraid of getting dirty. And now, I'll lose it all to a man with a faster sword hand. Or is it that he has a slower sword hand? There's something wrong with the world. There's something wrong with the world because of idiots like you. Father could ever have. In his time, he commanded a noble lord, a high overseer, and an empress. The man who brought down a tyrant. Admiral Hadley, son of the High Ocean. Fuck you, yeah. just shoot him. 
I think I know of a better epitaph. Idiot who's getting erased from time. Well, he saved us to work. Huh? I think they're dead. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he poisoned them. Which is a bit ironic, seeing how uh, well the High Overseer tried to kill Callista's, <clears throat> Callista's uncle. And now he did the same to his, his, his fellow assholes. What do you think it's... I think the first time I ran this, I, I ran this game, I actually did... I actually swapped the glasses to the High Overseer. So, uh... The guy took the shit uh, of a regular, like, glass, and the other guy... He, uh, like, Callista's uncle's fine, and... No... I don't remember how I did it the first time, but... <laughs> Emily needs to work on our threats if she's going to be effective empress, like, making them stand in the corner. She's like 10! She's like 10! What the fuck is she gonna do? Uh, also, I believe... I could have tried... Tried something, but if he, yeah, if he's, you can walk up yeah. to him, I think, uh, where he'll probably just go, chat at you like, a, I deserve this and such, but you can just, we can, you can just walk away from him, and he'll go, that's unexpected. Corvo, I knew you'd come. Is he going hey, kiddo. Will I be Empress? Probably. You've killed one person. That guy you completely scared into falling off the bridge. <laughs> well, it's his own fault for taking a piss off, what, 500 meters up? Yeah. <laughs> he was taking a piss 500 meters off, and then he turned around, slipped, and fell. Fuck it, we're only gonna suicide. The end. So ends the interregnum. And now Emily Caldwin I will take her mother's throne after a season of turmoil. You will stand at her side, Corvo, guiding her young mind and protecting her from those who seek to exploit her or cause her harm. You watched and listened when other men would have shouted in rage. You held back instead of striking. So it is, with the passing of the plague and Emily's ascension, comes a golden age brought about by your hand. And decades hence, when your hair turns white and you pass from this world, Empress Emily, Emily the Wise, at the height of her power, will lay your body down within her mother's great tomb, because you are more to her than royal protector. You were her father. Farewell, Corvo. And that's Dishonored. And yeah, I'm pretty sure in Dishonored 2 it is supposed to be confirmed that you are actually Emily's daughter. Father. Yes! You're, no, you're Emily's biological dad. <laughs> like, Corvo and the Empress had a one night stand or something, and Emily came out, and everybody said, fuck it, we're rolling with it. Yeah, there is never word of a yeah, lady. You need more makeup. No offense, but you do. Yeah, uh, yeah there is never word of an uh, emperor. So, yeah, put enough time in, uh, in it, and you put the pieces together. Yeah, if I remember correctly, Emily is okay. So you can't choose between Emily or Corvette to play 
in Dishonored 2, but canonically it's Emily, and again with, like, Chaos. Yeah, and I, I do plan to play as Emily. I believe there is supposed to be a small difference in gameplay, mostly in powers, probably. Yeah. But... Yeah, Emily gets different abilities than Corvo. Okay. Um... Yeah. For now, though, next time we will start on the DLCs of this game, because it adds more to the world itself. It doesn't add to Corvo's story, but it does add to someone else's story. And, yeah, also, the two jackasses curing the plague, that is why you don't want to kill Weepers. Or why they can then being count, killed counts against Chaos as well, they are still saveable. Yeah. And yeah, th this is just a great game, and it, it's a very interesting world as well. Let's see. Susan Sandon as Granny Rags, Rai Siap Top, Callista Lena Hedy, Alternate Street Speaker Carrie Fisher. Uh, that Carrie Fisher? Maybe. Okay. Hey, I know that guy, Dad. Yeah. Uh, yeah, if we had killed the, <laughs> the radio announcer in the Dunwall Tower, they would have added in a replacement. <laughs> Let's see, any names I recognize among this? Hey, I know Andrew from you, so he's literally Tony Montana and God thinks the world is yours. <laughs> okay. I'm so not kidding, he's actually the voice actor because, uh... Ah, uh, fucking... Wait, Tony Montana. No clue. Um, uh, I, I am terrible with celebrities and uh, actors and uh, such. It's uh, only a very rare few that I actually whatever, remember. His actor nice. basically got too old to do the voice, so... He, but he did license his likeness to the game, so he helped get somebody to, to make the voice of Tony Montana. Okay. I believe he also appears in Payday 2 as a character. Yeah, he's also a character DLC in Payday 2. I had that DLC, actually. Yeah, along with John Wick and freaking Jacket from Hotline Miami. Like, yeah, did you actually get by getting the deluxe digital edition of Hotline Miami 2, which unlocks him in Payday 2. Okay. Yeah. There, there actually is a somewhat comprehensive... Um, Timeline video online somewhere about Payday 2 story because there actually is a story and it goes quite uh, mad towards the end. Well, you do sort of attempt to rob the White House in order to get the presidential pardon so you can get away with every crime you've committed scot free. Yeah, and that's then just things the get A weird. plot for that. And that's the A plot. <laughs> yeah, there's a B plot to that in that same mission. Where you go after the fucking Illuminati. Yeah. And it's implied in, by ending that B plot that Bane gets reincarnated as 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 the fucking president. Yeah. Spoiler warning, by the way. Yeah, but yeah, spoiler warning. <laughs> uh, I'd forgotten Xenimax was part of this as well. I Probably should go back and add those in on the <clears throat> on the uh, the tags of the videos. Yeah, probably. Hmm. But yeah, let's see. Thursday, Saturday, we continue with the uh, Hard Space Shipbreaker. Uh, you might want to, uh, Ram. You uh, perhaps want to yeah, co-commentate more often with this when possible. Yeah, I am. I can do that. Okay, I'm because this bad. is probably a lot better time for you over there, huh? Yeah. It's like... Uh, two to three, so... Yeah, I'm good here. Yeah, and over here, it's nearing ten. I actually didn't think we'd end this in this stream. I... Didn't again... Uh, the latter half of this game, I really didn't remember much of, except for towards the end. Yep, and we yeah, got plenty of time to spare, even. Yeah, 15 minutes. There's probably some extra stuff that we could look at. And... 
Yeah, I, I very much doubt that there's anything behind the credits here. Yeah, this yeah, was a bit before the... Well, I think the MCU came out around this time. Hang on a second. <laughs> My ben <boss>. van Greethausen. <laughs> yeah, that's obviously I'm a Belgian high name. name. I feel so sweet there. Jorn and Jürgen. Yeah. Marketing manager, H.E. Joey. Okay, dumb question. Do any of you have Payday 2? I have it. Not many or any of the DLCs, I think. What about you, Drakir? I don't play Payday. Ah. Yeah, you oh, wanna thank you. team up sometime? What? You wanna team up and up sometime or so? Yeah. I'm horrible with the first person shooters. The only one I seem to be good at is uh, Deep Rock. Mm. Yeah, I figured, I mean, we've got some time, so we might as well end this Dishonored stream with a bit of with a bit of attempted robbery. Hmm, now, th these, these let's streams, I do more like a sort of long let's play, so sticking down uh, on the end, and it, it would just okay. be 15 minutes. So, True, fair yeah, enough. Let, let's end that before it goes on for another half hour. Yeah. Now, let's see. Missions. Yeah, There's... mission select as always. Uh, nine missions only, technically. <laughs> and here we have the Here's... DLC with the Knife of Dunwell. And the Brigmore Witches. And the Brig. Yeah, we'll Hello? get to that next week. Oh, God damn it! Did the idea shit itself? Hang on. Hmm? Is that something. Yeah, I think there might have been an error on his end. <clears throat> Hello, Ron! Let's see. Discord's still in it. Oh, hello. Yep, okay, that was a buzzing. Yeah, I've been hearing buzzing from him now and then. Uh, the fucking headphones, whatever. Yeah, you, did, you didn't stick phone. a cicada in there, did you? Why would I stick? I yeah, you're breaking <laughs> up, uh, so uh, I think it might be best to end it for now. So yeah, yeah. whatever, whatever. Let's just uh, good night, everybody. <laughs> yeah. Uh, next week, knife of Dunwell. And break more witches after that, which should keep us busy for another week or two, I think. They are estimated to be about eight hours together. But yeah, we'll see how quickly go we go through that. But for now, uh, Saturday will be more Hard Space Shipbreaker. So, okay. yeah. Uh, <laughs> anyone who has been watching now or later, thank you for watching. And thank you especially to Kier and Rom. You're hey. most welcome, my friend. You're welcome. And yeah, until next time, but until then, have a nice day, and until then. Peace until later. Later. <laughs>